The Belarusian president, Alexander Lukashenko, is the latest one to weigh in on the different theories or the death of the Wagner chief Yevgeny Prigozhin in a plane crash northwest of Moscow. Conspiracy theories are doing the rounds all over, and some of them are pointing the fingers directly at the Kremlin. However, Moscow has denied all allegations and has called the theories of an attempted assassination as absolute lies. The Belarusian president has said that he had warned the Wagner chief about possible threats to his life. Alexander Lukashenko further added that he had insisted that the Wagner fighters should remain in Belarus. And Putin's longtime ally had said that the Russian president is unlikely to be behind Prigozhin's death. It was Alexander Lukashenko who had struck a deal after an attempted mutiny. Back then, the president had vowed to crush the mutiny, but later, as part of a deal that was struck with Putin's ally, the Belarusian president Alexander Lukashenko, the Wagner chief and his mercenaries had shifted their base to Belarus. The Belarusian president said that he had persuaded the Russian president Vladimir Putin not to wipe out the mercenary group. So what do we know so far about this plane crash? Now, a plane that was bound for St. Petersburg crashed on Wednesday in the northwest of the Russian capital. It was carrying seven passengers on board and three crew members, and it crashed in Russia's western Tver region. The plane stopped transmitting tracking signals after reaching an altitude of about 28,000 feet. After being in air for about 30 minutes, the plane suddenly burst in flames and then dropped out of the sky. So as the plane started to fall, it broke apart into pieces, which fell nearly two kilometers from the village of Kuzinkinko. The Russian media has said that all 10 bodies have now been recovered. The locals also spotted the plane being lit up. A black cloud was visible. Eyewitnesses described the situation as something like a bang and a shot before the plane came crashing down. But it is still not clear as to what resulted in the plane suddenly falling out of the sky. Now, investigations into the crash are still ongoing, and experts say that an aircraft such as this one does not simply just drop out of the sky without something very unusual happening. It could either be the result of an explosion inside or outside, or it could be the result of this aircraft being hit by a missile. Some media reports have highlighted the plane fall looked like it had only had one wing while it was falling. There's another video that has been released by the Russian state media that shows the last four digits of the registration number in the plane, engine debris, as 2795. While Prigozhin's own plane is registered as RA02795, the Wagner-linked telegram channel Grey Zone has reported that the jet was shot down by the Russian military, but it has provided no evidence to back its claim. At this moment, it is not possible to conclusively say anything about the matter. Now, don't forget that Prigozhin, once a very close friend and an aide of President Vladimir Putin, was the man who had attempted a mutiny against the Russian leaders. And it marked the biggest challenge to President Vladimir Putin's rule in over 23 years. And now, in the words of Putin himself, Prigozhin was a very talented man who also had committed mistakes. Putin expressed condolences for all the victims of the crash after 24 hours of the plane having crashed on Thursday. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.